If you're looking how to add this screen pop effect, I can show you how in a couple of minutes. Hello everyone, welcome to this channel. I'm Giovanni Pino, and if this video helps you, please let me know in the comments and give it a like so it can help others who may need to watch this video. Once you have your clip on the timeline, we go to the effects panel and search transform. Next, we drop it into our clip. Now we go to the part we want to add the screen pump. In scale, make sure to keep the value to 100. We go to two or three frames forward and add a keyframe with a higher scale. I'm gonna put 150. Then we move two or more and set the value back to 100. I'm gonna move around four frames. Now playing the clip, we will see a real quick screen pop effect happening. You can decrease the speed by changing the distance between the keyframes. If you want to create multiple screen pop effects, just copy the keyframes and paste them multiple times as you require. You can also change the size of the pump by changing the value of the keyframe in the middle. Now, what if we want to see the blur effect on it? Well, we go down and uncheck Use Composition Shutter Angle. Then we set the shutter angle to 360. And that's it. That's how you create a screen pop effect with motion blur. If you're looking to explore a video with transparent background, check this tutorial right here. If this video was helpful to you, give it a like and also subscribe for more tutorials to come.